Okay, so I'd like to introduce now Morley Davidson. He's from Penn State University. He works with a number of collaborators from around the world. Um, one of his collaborators, he worked with someone in Darmstadt, is that right? Yeah, he works with someone in Darmstadt, so I was dropping hints that this has something with, with Darmstadt that has nothing to do with Stefan. Well, a little bit to do with Stefan Hoffman. But, um, so this is Morley Davidson. He can give a talk about the research he's been doing, and I'm going to turn it over to him now. Let's, uh, let's all welcome Morley to the stage. All right, well, uh, so first of all, I want to say congratulations to the, uh, to the Rubik's Cube on 30 years. All right, well, um, so as Sainz said, I'm a mathematician, so I, I'm interested in little math questions about the cube. And so I'd like to uh, walk you through a little bit of history here. So if we roll back the clock to uh, 1980, uh, it was already known from a uh, really simple map, actually, that uh, you need it. There are positions that require at least 18 moves to solve. Well, and as far as uh, how many moves that, that most might be needed, well, early uh, solution books suggested that well, you probably never need anything like 80 moves, but anyway, that's an upper bound that's safe. Well, uh, 1981. An upper bound of 52 moves was given. This was uh, by Mormon Thistlethwaite. And so he used a special uh, group theoretic uh, approach. Hadn't been tried before. And already then, uh, to get this down into the 40s, it took some time to prove that the most 40 moves uh, were, uh, were necessary. So by April of 1992, uh, it was down to 42 moves, and that's beginning to sound like something that human beings can do in a fewest moves competition inside of an hour. So uh, the same year, it was improved to 39 in May, and just one day later, it was improved to 37 moves. So remember, this is the most number of moves required uh, to solve any position, or at least what we can prove is the most that would ever be required. Okay, now, uh, in 1995, Michael Reed uh, cut the bound into the upper 20s to 29 moves. And this is by analyzing a two-step algorithm, uh, basically an improvement of this place algorithm. Uh, now only two steps. And this was uh, dreamt up by Herbert uh, Kuchempa. Well, uh, the, same, the same month, uh, Michael Reed also found a position that requires at least 20 moves. I'm sure a lot of uh, keepers here know that, well, these, the so-called super flip position has this notoriety of being the first position known to require uh, 20 moves or more. So, sorry, 20 moves. Well, now, uh, jump ahead 10 years, so now we're at the entire decade, uh, December of 2005, uh, Romanian mathematics student Silvio Radu improved the upper bound to 28 moves. All right. All right, now, uh, April of the next year, he got it down to 27. And then in May of 2007, uh, some, well, Dan Kumble and Gene Kuberman, they're both uh, computer scientists here in, in, in Boston. I think Dan was uh, Gene's student. They proved that 26 moves always suffice. And now people are beginning to wonder, what is the actual truth here? What's the most number of moves that suffice? So it's got to be somewhere between 20 and 26 at that point. Well, then uh, March, two, two years ago, uh, Tom Rokicki got it down to 25 moves. And in uh, April 2008, got it down to 23 moves. And this is with the help of uh, a rendering farm at Sony. In okay, August of 2008, Tom and his collaborator, John Welburn, and Sony got it on down to 22 moves. So at that point, we knew that uh, any cube could be solved in the most 22 positions, and there were positions known that required 20. So this, uh, this magic number, the, the most that any would require, this is called the God's number, by the way. <laughs> it's uh, a little tongue-in-cheek, but it, 
Uh, the term God's algorithm actually goes back to early thoughts on the Rubik's Cube. So, uh, so what is God's number? God's number is 20. And that result is just about a week old. Wow. It's finally been proved. Go to this website for more information on how the computation was done and uh, various collaborators, including myself. Uh, so, uh, John Dethridge at Google. Uh, Google generously supplied several decades worth of computer time in a matter of two weeks. <laughs> Catch my meaning. Uh, Herbert Kochemba at the original uh, two phase algorithm. And then, of course, Thomas Rokikus made the amazing recent improvements in the coding and the underlying mathematics. Okay, so this, this uh, URL, if you're interested, is very simple. It's www.cube20.org. All right, thank you, everyone. Great, thank you very much. All right, so this time we'd like to begin the final round. And